It's estimated there are only 400 wildcats left in Scotland. Over the past year, a range of research has taken place that's identified the key threats to the wildcat's existence. The work at the Cairngorm National Park has also produced some stunning images of the cats and other Scottish wildlife. The Cairngorms and Ardnamurchan are the last strongholds for one of Britain's rarest animals. The Scottish wildcat is now rarer than the Bengal tiger and has become one of the world's most endangered animals. They may look similar to domestic cats, but the Scottish wildcat is genetically different. They arrived here over 9,000 years ago and are now Britain's only remaining large wild predator. Here in the Cairngorm National Park, a major project is underway, tasked with saving the Highland Tiger from extinction. The Cairngorm's Wildcat Project was, was set up last year to try and tackle the thorny issue of wildcat conservation. And, you know, the wildcat is a highly iconic Scottish animal, which, to be honest, we didn't know an awful lot about, but we, you know, scientific research suggested that it was in deep trouble. There was actually a great deal of hybridisation going on. That's the interbreeding of domestic cats and wild cats. And of course, if that goes on unchecked, we may well see the end of the Scottish wildcat in time. Gathering information about the wild cat is very difficult, and even getting a glimpse of these elusive cats is just about impossible. And now they're monitoring the area with the help of technology. One of the things we're trying to do is gain a much better understanding of where wildcats are here in the Cairngorms National Park and of course where they're not. Um, we really need to get an idea of numbers, densities, you know, and, and the levels of hybridisation. And we can tell all that from a photograph of the animal. So using camera traps is an excellent way of monitoring an otherwise really difficult uh, animal to observe. These camera traps, we strap them to trees. Possibly we can also put some bait out as well to try and help pull animals in towards the camera. The cameras have been in operation for over a year now and have snapped a vast and diverse array of Scottish wildlife. So we've had photographs of pine martens and deer and badgers, but also, of course, a lot of things that are attracted to the bait that we put out. We've had some fantastic images, for example, of golden eagles coming into our camera traps. But of course, what David's really looking for is a pure Scottish wildcat. There are wild cats out there, you know, cats that display all the markings you'd expect, particularly that thick, ringed, blunt tail. But what we're also seeing, of course, are feral domestic cats way out into the countryside. And we're also, of course, seeing the hybrids, the result of breeding between, say, the feral domestics and the wild cats. So we're seeing cats that share features of both domestic cat and wild cat. But searching for pure wild cats in this huge area is no mean feat and the project has enlisted the help of landowners and those working on the land. Persecution of the Scottish wildcat began back in the Victorian era with the advent of the sporting estate. Gamekeepers were paid a bounty for every wildcat killed and the total amount killed in a year was used as a yardstick to gauge their ability to do their job. But thankfully, attitudes are changing. Here in Glen Tanner, the gamekeeper is seeking them out to ensure their survival. There's a lot of interest in, in conserving wildcats from the gamekeeping community. We, we, we can see that they have very low impact in terms of our interests. We do need to, to be out there controlling predators, but I think we've got to exercise a precautionary principle when we're looking at cats. We're providing a site for some uh, intensive camera trapping. We've got over 40 camera traps up in the estate on a, on a grid, which should really pick up uh, wildcats if they're here. Uh, in, in any sort of numbers, so that, that will give us some good information on what the population is, but they haven't been easy to catch yet. They are a fantastic animal for the Scottish countryside, they should be here, and uh, we hold a lot of the answers in the conservation and we want to make it work. It's really important, I think, to have the gamekeeping community on side in wildcat conservation, otherwise you know, it, it's, it's never going to work. 
the wildcat has, has really been overlooked and a bit forgotten uh, as an animal, partly because I think you just don't see them every day. They're living in really remote areas and they're very shy and secretive. So that I think there's a real job to be done in raising uh, public awareness of the, of the fact that we've got a special animal living here in the Cairngorms and in other parts of the Highlands, but also crucially it needs our help. Uh, you know, we can, if we all pull together, we can save the wildcat from extinction. The plight of the Scottish wildcat is certainly much more high profile and this raised awareness might be the very thing that saves this elusive feline.